So Risperdal is a second generation antipsychotic, meaning that it's going to work on dopamine and serotonin. And for Risperdal, it's going to specifically work on 2A receptors of serotonin and 5-HT7. And what does this mean and why does it matter? This is the key to second generation medications where they're going to boost serotonin, which is going to improve mood, cognition, affect. So this medication is approved for bipolar depression, bipolar mania, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder. It's also approved for autism, irritability in autism, specifically for ages five and up. It's also approved for impulsive disorders. Now, the main negative side effects with this medication is going to be those metabolic side effects, which is going to be increased weight gain, increased A1C or your average blood sugar. So it's going to put you at risk for diabetes. Now, those symptoms can be mitigated with diet management and also a exercise regimen. And I've seen it done and it really depends on what you eat. There's another major negative side effect, which is increased prolactin levels that can lead to gynecomastia and can also lead to discharge from the breast and that can be very uncomfortable it can also be painful and that is another second major negative side effect other than that it is an effective medication you can add it to an antidepressant regimen you can give it as a single monotherapy for autism you can also give it for bipolar depression and it really helps at low doses a typical dosage is anywhere between two to three milligrams per day usually uh, in the evening, but it can be dosed twice a day. Another cool thing about this medication is that it's available in liquid, tablet, and also injectables. So you can do a long-acting injection called the Risperdal Consta. And this is great because a lot of populations, specifically the autism population, has some sensitivities and sometimes pills cannot be swallowed. So the liquid and injectable versions are great. I don't prescribe the injection too much. I prescribe other long-acting injections and I do prescribe this a lot for irritability, aggression, hostility, paranoia. And I definitely think it's one of the top 10 medications in psychiatry. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or any other meds you'd like me to do, just leave them in the comments. See you on the next one.